So these guys are making some New York style pies. These are going to be about 14 inch pizzas. This is like a high gluten flour. Uh, it's all Trump's and it's also mixed with some uh, King Arthur all purpose as well. So first thing we got to do is we got to get some flour on it. We're going to be tossing this pizza around. Okay. Shake the excess flour out. We're just kind of just pressing out the uh, pizza here, pressing out the crust. See, I pressed it out. You're pressing it out, okay? Flip it over. Same thing on the other side. Okay, now we're going to slap it around. And that, what that does is it knocks off the excess flour. on our knuckles, not the fingers, the knuckles people. We're just kind of going to open it up a little bit here. Okay? Gravity kind of does the work. We're going to toss it up, throw it around. Ultra, ultra thin here. New York is a thin crust pizza. It's supposed to have a droop. Some people like it, some people don't. I actually prefer it. People in Chicago obviously hate it. So, there's our pizza. On our peel, the peel is dusted with some semolina flour to prevent um, it from sticking to the peel. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to be putting sauce on. Less is more, too. You don't ever want to go heavy on the sauce. You have to find that perfect balance, too, between the cheese and the sauce and the, and the uh, dough. That's what, that's what makes a really good pizza place the best. You find the perfect balance of ingredients. Okay, so that looks good to go there. Okay, now we're going to be putting our cheese on. The cheese I'm using today is a blend of uh, provolone, uh, white cheddar, and uh, whole milk mozzarella. It's more of an East Coast blend, it gives you more of a tanginess. And everywhere does it different. Some, some places just use mozzarella. Uh, there's not enough flavor for me. So, this is the provolone I'm putting on right here. Okay, this is the white cheddar and mozzarella. So just put that on. As you put ingredients on your pizza, you always want to give it a shake to make sure it's not sticking to the peel. You see how it's moving, so we're, we're, we're okay on that. I always want to try to put more cheese um, near the outer, you know, near the, the outer edge of the pizza because for some reason gravity pulls it towards the middle. I'm not sure exactly why that is, but that's just what happens when it's in the oven. Okay, so that looks good. Let's get this is stretch out of here. It always, it always tends to shrink back in when you put it on the peel. So sometimes, sometimes it's better. To overstretch your dough by about you know an inch and a half past your peel, uh, give it a shake and it'll pull back in right to the edge of your peel. Put a little more cheese down, so that we stretched it out. Okay, looks good to go. going to be uh, pepperoni, Canadian bacon, and black olive, okay? It's an excellent, excellent mixture of flavor. 
you can find yourself a really good uh, canning bacon. The flavor's awesome. Black olives are on. Um, I'm actually going to put a little bit of McDust with some uh, Pecorino Romano. Again, I like more of a tang than my pizza. So this will give it just a little more oomph. You don't want to overdo it, just you know, just a little dusting of it. Okay. So as you can see, looks pretty good. You can always give this slide before you go in the oven. This oven is 550 Fahrenheit uh, with, a, with a stone in it. It's been preheating for about 45 minutes with the stone in there. That's important because the stone's got to be hot when you put that pizza on there. Otherwise, it's not the bottom's not going to cook. So I will put this in the oven, and I will let you, let you guys know what it looks like when it comes out. It's going to bake for about four and a half, five minutes. Good to go, no spills. See you guys in a bit.